Seriously? But, Mr. Morris, I don't under- <sighs> I'm afraid- But what about my fi- Well, I'm afraid you have to come up with something on your own. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, isn't that Xavier? Xavier! Oh, why, if it isn't the dear traveler and pie. Well, I was doing just fine until I received some terrible... Can't you just find a different... Unfortunately, that's not how it works. We had signed an agreement specific to the Fontanalia... Of... The Fontanalia Film Festival? Oh, is this your first time participating? The Fontanalia Festival was established to commemorate the legendary Loch Knights, who... Uh, the holiday is deeply connected to the founding of Fontaine, as well as its unique laws and... But what's with that weird expression on your face? It's like you're trying really hard to remember something. Ah, I was just trying to recall the exact description from the books. <laughs> In... Well, either way, Pyra thinks she gets it now. It's just like the Windbloom Festival. Yes, those are festivals of a similar variety. <laughs> Who doesn't like them? To commemorate the Loch Knights, people will imitate them by putting on special cost. But a few years ago, Lady Farina started to find the whole idea... <laughs> The whole thing seems more akin to a carnival now, and... Oh, that sounds pretty fun! Ah, yes, uh, it appears I've strayed off topic. <laughs> the Fontanalia Film Festival is an event proposed by the Fontaine Film Association this year. Now that film tech during this time, people may submit films to be evaluated, and the... The what award? The Farina Award! You know, after the Hydro Archon, they coined it while Lady Farina was still in power. Perhaps everyone still thinks of it as a pretty appropriate name, even though she isn't the Hydro Archon any longer. Ah! All right. Oh, but who would have guessed there'd be an issue with the funding? How will I... Hiori? Uh, sounds familiar. Yes, that's her. I asked her to oversee the event's art direct. Oh! said that her clothes were designed... How to describe her? Uh, well, she tends to be pretty direct, and her remarkable designs have led many Fontanians... Anyway, Chiori is acquainted with all the actors I've invited from Inazuma. Who are the actors from Inazuma? Do we know... Why don't the two of you accompany... Judging from the time, the Aquaba should be arriving shortly.
When the sun's out, bathe in sunlight. But when the moon's out, bathe in moonlight. Huh? Uh, Miss Chiori? <sighs> Your talk with the investor sure went fast. The Aquabus hasn't even arrived. Oh? And who are they? Ah, uh, uh, allow me to introduce. Pleased to meet. Likewise! We've heard the owner of Chiori ya Boutique is a skilled seamstress. Why, thank you. I strove to create an outfit that matched her high. So tell me, what happened? I can. Ah, uh, well. Ugh. <sighs> I know, I know, Chiori, you don't have to s Yes. But how could I pass it up? <laughs> he offered me twice- And they're in like- Yes, but just put yourself in my shoes. After obtaining the budgets that the others had proposed were nowhere near enough. It's difficult to find someone willing to- f Don't be sad, Xavier. We might be able to help- Oh, thank you, Paimon. That means a lot to me. But the cost of the film is staggering. We need to move on. What's happened has a- What? You say- No, that's not what I mean. I'm sim- The actors I recommended aren't just after- m Really? Then where do you- We Malazines live in Marisi Village. The only way to- Oh, you must be pretty tired after work every day, right? I mean- We are so thoughtful. But some Malazines choose to live in the Court of Fontaine because it's so much more convenient. And this is our stop. Oh, we've arrived. But I have I also enjoyed Aval's introductions to Fontaine along the way. Everything you described was so clear and Thank you so much. I'm usually working here on this aqua bus, so I hope I'll have the chance to see you again. There are still many more places I'd like to introduce to you. <laughs> Welcome to the Court of Fontaine. <sighs> Chiori! You sure have changed a I haven't realized it's been so long. I was in such- Thank you for extending the invitation, Mr. Xavier. I'm looking forward to a fruitful trip here in Fontaine. Ugh, it's an honor to have the head of the Kamisato clan visit us. So they are who you meant when you said- Oh? It's the Traveler, and- Wow, what a coincidence! Ayaka and I were- ch We just ran into Xavier earlier and- <laughs> But I'm not an actress. Sir Kamisato and Lady Ayaka are the real actors here. I'm just tagging up. Uh, about that. I mean, how was I supposed to contact you when- So I could only keep you in the back of my mind while I saw- I had been thinking about a surprise reunion with you during our trip here. 
but you still manage- Oh, so you all know each other already! <laughs> Why don't we go to Hotel de Boer and catch up- Huh? Did you reserve two- Yes, of course, of course! I'll be sure to tell the boss to serve- Very well. Then please- Fontaine are so tall. And there's the fountain that Aval mentioned earlier. And look at that huge spinning sphere. Where does it get its power? from Bontine is like. Oh, it sure is different from what we have in Inazuma. Ah, uh, yes. When I first went to Inazuma, I actually thought the food there... Let's get back to the purpose of this trip for a moment, shall we? How have preparation... Well, I've already assembled most of the film crew. A lighting specialist... Oh, it's called the Two Musketeers, right? I heard this... Originally, I was planning to start filming as soon as Sir Kamisato... Oh? It has to do with the film's investor, Mr. Morris. He suddenly informed me this- It said that Fontaine's legal system is well developed. If he- Ah, well, I'm still more concerned about filming. Even if I were to take him to court- Then, is there- I've considered that option too, but unfortunately, it's difficult to gather such a large- Hmm. Mr. Xavier, if Ayaka and I were willing to perform for free, would that resolve the problem? What? Uh, no, out of the question to have you- There's no need to worry, Mr. Xavier. My brother and I had actually intended to work for free after Inazuma has only recently reopened its borders and needs to strengthen its relations and cultural ties with other nations. Indeed. You could say that's the real reason- I understand, but having you- t Not at all. While we're officially here to conduct a cultural survey of sorts, we must express our- This film will serve as proof of friendly cooperation and cultural exchange. If you still don't feel comfortable with this arrangement, I would also be more than happy to be introduced to some- uh, uh, All right! I'll do as you say! Thank you! Thank you so much! I'll make sure to cobble to- Come on now, no need to go that far. I'll also help you out as a brand sponsor. Me too! Even though I didn't bring much more- uh. You are too kind, all of you. I... I really... Uh, ew. All right, enough about that. Now that we have Xavier's savings, my support, so instead of Mora, you'll... Oh, but how... All right. Pull yourself together, Xavier. Uh, oh, uh, all right. Uh, let me think. I originally wanted to personally serve as director, but I've been too busy working as the producer. I'm a news with the director and the logistics. The clapper loader is responsible for using the clapper board to record and organize the information of each shot. A clapper board? <gasps> oh! Yes, that's right. For sure, Paimon's always All right, then you'll be our clapper loader. I can find someone from the store. Oh, fine by me. As for our camera. Oh, she's great when it comes to using a camera. Paimon can't even count how many. Yes, that's also what I was thinking. I noticed the traveler had an. I'm sure that's due to the traveler's journey across to Vat and all the places they've seen. What do you say, traveler? Are you interested in the job? Thank you. It really means a lot to me. Come on, friend. Let me give you a big warm hug. So all that's left for us to find is. Oh, me, me, me! I want to be the director's assistant. All we need. To all right, then. All we need is a director. 
Oh, all the well-known directors in Fontaine are probably also busy. Oh, Farina helped out a theater troupe recently by serving as an artistic consultant. She could be a good <laughs> uh, Do you really think Lady Farina would be- Isn't that the name of Fontaine's Hydro Archon? Yep, that's her! She helped out a theater troupe not too long- Well, uh- oh, I saw that musical. Her perf- Don't let her former identity intimidate you. She's the best candidate we can think- Fine, you're right, Chiori. I'll do- oh, Then I'll have to ask the Traveler and Paimon to show me the way to Lady- Do you need us to also come along? No, there's no need to trouble you with this. Besides, you've just arrived in- Just leave this task to me. It's part- Very well. Then we'll be waiting- I'll go with you. By the way- And don't worry, we won't simply drop you off at Farina's place. We know Farina pretty well by now, so having some- All right, then I'll start making preparations. Hmm, a gift for someone who- I recall that Lady Farina once fancied a clockwork ring. Huh? Can't we just bring some desserts? Like, hmm, but wouldn't that be a little too cheap? She does- Isn't the Fontanelia Festival happening right now? I heard Avel tell us on the Aquabus that Farina introduced the tradition of going door to door to do something like that. She I agree with Yoimiya. If the gift is too- All right then, let's go buy some- But will that really be enough? We'll be- Hmm, you're right. We need to further- Huh? You want something even sweeter than Fontanella? Yes, we'll need a gift that's sweeter than- Well, look at that! <laughs> Farina lives. Okay, I'll go knock on the door. Farina, please. Hello. Oh, is that the traveler in Paimon I see behind? I'm Chiori. Ah, the one from Chiori. So, what are you all doing here? Uh, do you need something? Did you just get up, Farina? It's already past noon, you know. Huh? Oh, I. Uh, uh, Paimon means the weather is so nice in the afternoon and the sun is so warm. Just like how you make us feel. Sleeping in late is a really smart idea. <laughs> Uh, no. I was just up late last night. Hmm, <clears throat> this is a small gift we've prepared for. No need to be so formal. I'm just a regular person. That's great! <laughs> so, actually, given your renowned passion and understanding of drama, I would... Oh, but didn't you just... Yes, but for this particular project, I'm mainly working as a producer. Are the Traveler and Pi... Yep, we sure are! Paimon's the camera operator. That can be a pretty technical job. No, I'm not questioning your ability. Maybe you can come up with a test for the Traveler. If she can satisfy you with her camera skills, then you'd have nothing to worry about. Uh, you sure are getting better at rolling with the situation, Paimon. All right, how about this? We'll work with what we have. Oh, very good. It's essential for the camera operator to understand. Are you ready? I have high sti- Okay. Grab the camera, and I'll give you a scenario.
all the shots had a great composition, and I could really... Yeah! Does that mean you agree to be our director? <laughs> Did you think I would agree just like that? In fact, I've already had several troops approach me for the Fontanalia Film Festival. If others were to find out, I agree to work... Hey! But didn't we have a deal? Uh... Huh? You know, how much you're willing to pay me to be the director? Well, uh, I can offer you this much? What? That's all? If Nervulet were- I'm sorry, but our crew is in a tight- I see. Well, even though it's- Oh, uh, our script is an adap- huh? Wait, you mean the suspense? Oh, so Farina's- Of course I read it! I've always had a- I see. It all makes sense now. Uh, not really. The novel's author transferred the copyright to me practically for f He probably just wants to get his name out there. It reminds me of a delivery courier who wears one of my designs while traveling all across Tavat. I didn't charge her much for the outfit either. Uh... So, are you- Well, uh... It's all right. The pacing of the store- Ahem! Mr. Xavier, if hypothetically speaking- uh, Oh! Oh, as much freedom as you would need. Good. Then I'm... Absolutely no problem. Hmm. All right. So? Yes, I agree. Although the pay is... I mustn't let a perfectly good story be ruined due to lack of funds. If you have fine cheese and bread... Oh, Hydro Archon above! I... There's no more Hydro Archon. There's a lot that goes into shooting a film. Although the trickiest tasks of finalizing... And uh, by the way, since we'll be filming The Two Musketeers... Yes, I've thought about this as well. I was... Me? Hmm. Navia can also use firearms. But, um, could we ask the special security and surveillance but Oh, you mean the- Yes, that's right. They work with muskets every day. They would be under Nervilet's jurisdiction. Hmm. So... No need to go to all that trouble. I know they're- Oh, you do? Wait, Chiari, how do you know- No particular reason. Running a business means dealing with some trouble from- In return, I've helped her handle a few situations in which the special patrol couldn't get involved or- Uh, so you're saying- been times when the special patrol needed a fashion designer to handle a situation? It'd be best to keep it that way. Anyway, enough about that. She sounds professional enough. She is a captain after all. But I imagine the special security and surveillance patrol must be busy. Well, it just so happens that she's also not the kind of person that's just after Mora. As for whether she has time... Then I'll leave that to you. Macaroni's on sale today, so I've got to go. No problem. <coughs> Having Farina... Of course. Just wait until the day of our premiere. You'll witness the true... I'll be sure to ask some people I know... <laughs> Seems like you're finally getting more comfortable. I didn't ask for the Clapper Loader's commentary, Paimon. Then let's get going. I happen to know where Chevrolet... By the way, I'm curious. If my pay is so... Actually, they told us that they see the trip as part of a cultural exchange. What? So is every person into that who doesn't want money gathered here to... Sh <laughs> I already knew Xavier from before. It seems the gods have really smiled upon you, Xavier. All right. Mm, but she's over there. The one with an eye patch reading in front of the newsstand. Oh, her! Paimon could tell there was. Please wait here for a moment. I'll go fetch her. Working? Just trust me. Oh! She already sure is a mysterious person. She the Court of Fontaine isn't particularly tolerant of visitors from overseas, so it isn't e even a local like me just trying to make a film has to face all kinds of challenges, so I... Reading on the job? Detective novel. One main character? 
No. Multiple. I see. How's One of the main characters is about to make a choice that will affect the rest of his life. <sighs> Any way to speed things up? You know that doesn't depend on me. It Which is exactly... It appears he made the wrong- HALT! Huh? What's going on? Hand over whatever you're ho- Oh! It's just a book! I- Then I'm sure you wouldn't mind letting me have a look. Excuse me, officer. I don't mind you standing around here, not purchasing anything. Don't give me that act. You won't be able to get a- I am Chevras, Captain of Fontaine's Special Security and Surveillance Patrol. And before you do anything unwise, let me remind you that I'll have you on the ground but uh, All right, all right, but please let me say something first. If there's any co- Why are you trying to leave me on the hook, huh? You were the- Save it for the interrogation. Take them away, Letelier. What's going on here? One second you're reading a book and the next- And who are- Oh! Aren't you the tr- ah, maybe I can let you in on what- Now that Vache has been brought to justice, no new shipments of synth will be made and distributed to sellers. The font thanks to a tip from our reliable source here. Oh, so you were pretending to read a book and- Oh, Paimon almost forgot to introduce ourselves. Hey, I'm Chevras. You probably already heard me introduce myself. Yeah, why didn't you make a move as soon as you had the chance? No. I wanted to see if the shopkeeper would turn- All he had to do was come up to me and say that he didn't know where the synth had come from. He had the whole day to turn the synth over to Chevrus. But instead, the moment I- Yep, he made the wrong choice. Even though the right choice was right- But you knew they- Yeah, I knew. I was just hoping I- Eh. Enough about that, though. What did you want to- Oh, you see, it's like this. The two musketeers. So what do you need me to do? Yes, that's right. I want to make sure we get all the details right. However, I'm afraid this work will require a bit of- No need to say any more. Huh? Just like that? Really? You're willing to help us with our- Sure, it's no big deal. As I said, we've wrapped up our- Besides, I personally really like this novel. I even have the collector's edition at home. Stories were just- Then we've got- Yes, I'll see you on set tomorrow. Oh my, I can hardly believe it. I should tell Lady Farina immediately. Oh- Calm down, Xavier. The film is- Still, I should also head back now. And start preparing the actors' costumes and make- All right, guess that's it for today then. Traveler, Paimon, please stay for a moment. Then I'll take Xavier back. Poor thing. He's so excited that he can't even walk straight anymore. <sighs> I don't- Yep, see you tomorrow. So what did you want to tell us? Have you read The Two Musketeers? The story is about a pair of children born into the household of a baron and their struggle to survive. They were raised at the baron's estate where their mother worked as a maid. The two were illegitimate children that the baron had with the maid, so they were never treated well by- One day, upon returning home, they found their mother had been murdered and left dead on the floor. However, the baron was able to exert his influence and keep the whole thing under wraps. The mother's death was eventually- Many years later, members of the Baron's family suddenly started turning up dead one after the other, all killed by gunshot. The Baron believed that the mother's soul had come to take vengeance on him, but it was actually those two siblings who had fled all those years ago. They relied on each other. They used all of their abilities to collect evidence and clues before executing their plan and ex- That's quite an ex- Yep. The Baron got what he deserved for his evil deeds and- Oh, so is that why you were so willing to- You could say it was what- Oh, you mean- I've read the reports about you. Whether it was up- You've shown that you've got a strong sense of justice, as well as a- Yes, you're as sharp as I expected. It seems you've- There's been a recent murder case involving muskets. The perpetrator- Huh? Really? But- The Marachose Phantom hasn't yet released any information to the public. A murder involving firearms? But not that many people- Impossible. We perform a routine inspection of our firearms and ammo reserves every day. If one of the weapons had been fired, it would stick- However... Huh? 
I hope you all can go back and get some shut-eye. You can decide tomorrow. I'm aware this might not be the ideal time to add more to your plate, but the more capable people... Carrying out investigations isn't actually supposed to be our responsibility. Our job is to apprehend the... I don't want people to see muskets in a negative way, and also, I'm... You mean... They might be I suspect so. Just to make myself clear, this is not a- If you two have any interest in the case after we finish filming tomorrow- Hmm... What do you think, Traveler? Yeah, you're right. I want to- You'd better head back and get some rest. It's good to keep a calm- Otherwise, when the moment comes, you might end up like that shopkeeper and not even realize that the- One client.